Speaking of the body, soul, spirit in lesson planning. In terms of threefoldness, Waldorf grades teachers are taught to create lesson plans in a way that addresses the threefoldness of the human being. But I was not taught to plan for the threefoldness of human being in those terms. Threefold here refers to the physical, mental, and spiritual aspects of the human being. To address this concept, I am thinking about aspects of the threefold human being that will affect the health of the body, including stress, rhythm, and internalized aspects, through specific aspects of teaching, which I can outline briefly. One, know your students. Two, environment. Consider the plan, consider and plan for ease and beauty. Three, movement. Structure lessons to have meaningful and well-timed movement. Four, quiet time, listening and processing. Five, artistic. Six, humor, emotion through community and story. Seven, rest, free movement, including free choice activities. Eight, review and questions for processing and perspective taking to enhance relationships and thereby ease physiological and psychological stressors and meet the need to be seen. And nine, story, calms the nervous system, sets the stage for spirit to soar. To meet the soul aspects, planning for in and out breathing come to mind, as well as bringing emotion into every les lesson Movement provides an out-breath, hands slash willing. Academic focus, head slash thinking, provides an in-breath. And emotional content, heart slash feeling, engages the feelings and draws on the child's experiences in their own relationships. Spirit. Spirit is addressed through the creative faculties enabling students to visualize images and form pictures that nourish insight and ideas. The stories, poems, songs, and teacher creativity all nourish the spirit. All of these aspects are held and supported through the two-day rhythm, which amounts to the teacher planning for new material one day and scheduling any review, discussion, or artistic components of the lesson after the students have had intervening rest and sleep. This is a conventionally overlooked aspect of education. The reason sleep is so important in education is that memory consolidation happens during sleep, so the material presented in a lesson becomes personal. It is consolidated into the individual students in a way that are unique and individual, and this completely individuated content is what comes out and enhances the entire class in the form of review, discussion, and artistic output. If teachers wish to schedule their week in a three-day pattern, it often is executed as day one, presentation of new material, day two, review, discussion, day three, artistic work arising out of the material. This three-day pattern is fine. Uh, it can be great, it can be helpful for your structure and your planning, but this is not part of what Steiner's actual indications were.